Dr. Gray was somehow mixed up in this business with the dark man, Detective Comby decided. He had to be. Either Dr. Gray was using the idea of the dark man to manipulate and torture Jeremy, or the dark man was an actual powerful being possessing Jeremy. And in that case, Dr. Gray was simply a stew. Maybe both could be true at once. Comby felt his mind racing in all directions. No matter what, he had to find a way to break the pact. That was what Jeremy said was needed. It didn't even matter what was true or not. If Jeremy wouldn't leave Deseto before the contract was broken, then Comby had to make it happen. He just wished the steps on the contract made a little more sense. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Sometimes I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture, a Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dersetto, something about Dr. Gray, like we all pretend that we're here to get better, when in fact we are here to be forgotten. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside.
take this much more. This has to end.
this doesn't look good. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhardt and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance, as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull would untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, all other paths should first be explored. The medical instrument I would need for this lobotomy is missing and I should have Waits order a new one. Radiography, patient Jeremy Hartwood, date June 14, 1930. Plates. Jeremy's skull proved difficult to capture properly. Partial radiographs worked best. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Observations. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely that the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. Notes. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Mind if I do?
That's better.